Hello, I'm going to show you how to do an OTA update. As you can see, this is one background. You might not have ever even experienced this background, but this is an older background. I'm scrolling through here. I'm going to go down to OTA updater. It's connected to the internet, so make sure it's connected to the internet. Everything's norming, run, uh, running normally. I'm just going to do an OTA update now. So I will go into here and if there was no update necessary it would say no update available but as you can see there's obviously an uh, update so I'm going to hit download and then it's best to take a picture of these and follow these steps I'm going to show you them so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause for a little bit and then I'll come back when it's gathered up to the next step alright so there will be a point when the download finishes and then it comes to this screen it will have white cache box already checked but it won't have wipe data make sure wipe data is checked as well then go down to install click install install and uh, I'm gonna hit pause and you'll see where it is uh, after the next step you'll see it'll also go through this process right here this is fine and then you'll see your box looks like it just came out of the box new out of the box so you're starting all over so you're gonna hit next then you're gonna choose which language you want it in and then screen size if I hit the down arrow it will make it go smaller if I hit the up arrow or north arrow it will make it go get bigger you can see I want just a little edge so I'm gonna leave just a little black edge around the corner of my TV go up select either Ethernet or Wi-Fi if you connect it uh, with a plug-in back select Ethernet most people are gonna use Wi-Fi then I'm gonna select my unit my Wi-Fi unit out of the list that it produces come on produce list Cheddar. I'm going to enter my password. I don't really want to announce my password, but I guess it's good enough. And then I always select the box show password. I'm not going to, I think I know what it is, and I'm going to hit connect now. And you know it's connected when it says Wi Fi connected and it shows your AP name and IP address. So then I'm going to hit finish. and then you can see you'll have a brand new box um, this firmware that's run, running right now is completely different than the last one that you, it first started out with and that's how you do an OTA